share with you a mini album and a card that I created for a personal swap that I was in. So to get started, I'll start with the album first. And here on the front, I used this beautiful Santa image. And I did add some Wink Costello to his hat and his little cuffs and along the bottom of his coattail there. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up, but I added some to the holly berries here at the bottom. And then here what I done was I fuzzy cut the Dear Santa and I popped it up on some foam and I also added some Wink Costello to it. And I just thought this image was so pretty y'all that I just, I had to put it on the front. And then here on the side, I just left this with some poinsettia paper. I tied some seam binding, um, just different colors here, the red, the green, and the beige. And then here on the back, I left it plain. And again, I used the poinsettia paper because I just, I love the poinsettias at Christmas time. And y'all, this paper is so, so pretty. Okay, so I tied it with this beautiful um, black and white sheer ribbon here. And I got this from Country Craft Creations. And it is just so pretty. Alright, but it opens up like this. And then here on the inside. Alright, I'm going to apologize now for the glare because there will be some glare here and there. Okay, so here on the front, I um, have the 6x6 six six image. And it opens up like this. So you have space here and here for a photo. Well, she does. She'll have space here and here for photos. Alright, and then here, there are two pockets here with pull-out mats. And then she could place photo here and here and as well on the photo mats. These just took right back down in here. Alright, that flips over. And then here what I've done is this is one of the cut aparts out of the collection. And I just left it plain on the back. I didn't want to um, mat it or anything because I just I thought it was pretty like this. And if she wanted to, she could also journal on the back. But here there's space for a photo. This just tucks right back in here. Opens up like this. So there's space here for a photo. Here's a photo mat. There's space here for a photo. And then I made this little pocket here. Alright, and then this flips open. So there's a large space here for a photo. And then you have two photo mats. Alright, and then this one is a bit smaller. But this will hold a wallet size photo. And then this again is one of the images that I just cut apart. Alright, that closes back and it flips open like this. So then here, she can add a photo here if she wanted to. But it opens like this. There's space here. Space here. This flips down. So there is space here. Space here. As well as here. And then here and here. And then here, I made just a pocket with a photo mat. So she can also add a photo here. So y'all see here, this album will hold a lot of photos. And then on this page, this flips down. So there's space here for a photo. And it flips up. And we have like a waterfall here. So she can have plenty of space here for a photo. It just closes back. Flips open here. Large space here for a photo. And then here there's a photo mat. So you can actually add wallet size photo here. This just goes right back in. Okay, and then this flips over. And then here what I've done is I've made a pocket. And again, y'all, I apologize for the glare. But I used some snowflake acetate here that I was sent in a swap. See how cute that is? I love that. But I used one of the cut aparts. And this one I did back it on black in case, you know, she wants to journal or write something on there and then stick it like this. Or she can add a photo or just use this little image. Whatever she wants to do. And it just tucks right back in here. Okay, and then this opens up like this. So there's a large space here for a photo. And then here I've added a belly band with a large mat. And that closes back. And then on this page, this Let It Snow is from the paper collection. I'm going to cover this up here just for a second. But this is from the paper collection. And it opens up like this. So there's space here for a photo. 
and then space here for a photo. This opens up here, so there's space here, and there's a photo mat here. I created this pocket, and then there's a large space here. This flips over, and then there's a large space here with another pocket photo mat. And then there is a large space here. All right, these close back. This flips over. So then here, I've made two little pockets, so she could add a photo here and here. And both of these have photo mats. And just tuck right back down in here. And here again. And then on this page, there's a large space here for a photo. This opens up like this. Large space here. Then here, she could add smaller photos or journal. This opens up, and again, she could add smaller photos. And then here, I've added a photo map. So there's space here for a photo. And then here, you could just kind of journal a date or something on there. That closes back. And then flips over. And then back here, this here, I have made a pocket, and I forgot to add a tag in there. So what I'll do is I'll just take one of these. So, well, I won't take one of these. But this is a pocket here. I'll have to make a tag for that. And then this flips up. So there's a large space here. And then here, y'all look how pretty this paper is. Large space here. And then a large space here. These close back. This flips up. And you have a large space here. So, you know, she can actually add two photos here if she wanted to. And then here is one of the cut aparts. This was actually a six by six and I just kind of cut it down a little more to make it fit in my pocket. And then here there's a space here for a photo. Okay, that closes back. And then here, y'all, I love, love, love this image here. But what I've done is I've left this. This is open in case, you know, there's something she wants to tuck down in here. She could tuck in that little pocket there. But she could journal or add a photo here. Alright, this flips open here. And there again is that Santa image. And then here I just made a pocket so she could journal if she wanted to. But there's two photo mats. That just tuck right in here. And then this closes up and flips back to the left. And then you have a double pocket pa um, here. So these two photo mats. And then space here and here. And you can also get a photo here and here. So, that is my photo album that I've done for my personal swap. And I want to tell you all that there is a tutorial um, for this album. And it is one of my fall mini albums. So, I will leave in the description bar below the link to this um, tutorial here, to this album. If you want to make this album. Alright, so this just ties right back up. But look how pretty that ribbon is, y'all. This is just, I love, love, love the black and white. Alright, so there's, just tied up with a bow. And then for the card, what I've done is this is one of the 6x6 six six cut aparts. And I cut it down a little bit. And then, you see here, I gave it some dimension. And all I've done is I've just used some um, black foam. Because, you know... If I use white foam, it would really stand out and you would be able to see it. But I use black and you can't see it at all. So, I made an easel card so it stands up like this. And here is one of my scrap pieces that I had left. And then I just stamped Merry Christmas on there. And I did write a sentiment in here. But I used my little um, edge here, my border punch, that I also used in the album. I just tied these two together and just, you know kind of made it super cute and simple and there is no tutorial for the easel card I do have a tutorial for easel cards but not for this specific one um, but I will also leave the link to how I create my um, easel cards in the description bar below so I hope y'all all enjoyed my card and mini album that I created and I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas thanks so much for watching bye